Yo, so here's another war story. This is one about fucking uh, when I got pinched with a pumpy. So it was a 12 gauge pump action, got pinched with it. I was just a wee bugger. I think I was like about year eight. I was like maybe halfway through school. I was fucking pinched with it, making a rookie mistake. It's pretty funny, but you learn from your lessons. So anyways, this fucking kid in my class was like, deciding to rebel a bit, being a bit of a brat. You want to be a little cunt in that. He's like, Gaz, I fucking, I know this cunt in my area, in my street and that. He's got a fucking, he was an armor guard or something. He goes, oh, he's got a fucking pump action. I snuck into his house, seen that and that. I'm like, sweet, I'll give you 500 for it. So anyways, he's like, yeah, reach after school and that. We organised that in the class and that. He knows what I was fucking like, up, playing up, you know, I was fucking doing all my shit bullshit. I was like being fucking, little fucking cunt I was. Anyway, so... I'll fucking go to meet him, my mate from another school, one of my best mates at the time. He meets me on the pushy out the front. I'm like, I've got this thing and that we're getting. So fucking, he had it in a country road bag. Anyway, so I fucking grabbed it. And I'm only a little cunt, you know, like 170 something centimetres. But anyways, fucking, I fucking grabbed it. He had a country road bag. We did the exchange after school and that, at the front and that, like way after school, so pretty late. Anyway, I'll fucking go to try and travel up on a pushy. My mate meets me on a pushy, he's gonna think me back up to my area. And fucking this thing, I swear to God, was like proper under my armpit, like all the way down to the floor. I was that little, you know? And fucking, I go, I would have to plank on the front end of the hangers. It's fucking bullshit. So I'm like, nah, bro, this ain't gonna work. Like, you know what I mean? It's still daylight and that. I'm fucking laying out with this fucking Roscoe. So anyway, fucking, I says to him, fucking, I stook it. So I snuck into the school and stooked it onto a portable. Anyway, next day at fucking school, I thought I was the hardest cunt. Told no cunt. But I thought I was the hardest cunt when I went to school the next day and I had this fucking what's doing under the portable and that, strutting around, looking at the biggest and baddest cunts in the school. Hey, what's doing in it, you know? Thinking I was a fucking sick little cunt. Anyway, so we waited till the weekend. We grabbed it. We ended up riding it up on a pushy anyway. It was late. Fucking, you know, planking on this fucking pushy, bang, fuck. It was hectic. It was as nearly as tall as me. Anyways, fucking, uh, full fucking pump action. Winchester it was. Fucking, you know, like a fucking proper one, 12 gauge, nice. Anyway, fucking, uh, I get it back to my area. I fucking go down my creek and I fucking stook it under these fucking drains and that, in these drains and that. Like they've got concrete slabs over us up in the back of someone's house in the creek and that. I stook it there and that. It's all good. Anyway, so where this goes is I end up fucking going out. I'm pretty sure it was the weekend, if I remember right. Fucking going back a long time ago. But um, I went out and I used to hang around with a couple of older lads. And this one cunt was a fucking swine. He was a big cunt, way bigger than me. And he's fucking about three years on me. And he used to be a mad bully to me. Like, you know what I mean? I got mull up and that, mother's privilege. Like, if you mull up, you get first bong. Bang, he corked me for first bong and that. Well, he's just been a fucking turd. So we went out this night and we fucking jacked a car and that. We ended up fucking uh, going for heading to Geelong. And fucking, we ran out of petrol. We had to fucking hitchhike through truckies on the way back into town, and fucking we end up fucking scampering through their bags in the bunk and that, like just little fucking punks we were, bored little shit bags. And anyway, fucking uh, on the way home to back to my joint, we fucking done a couple of shops over. Anyways, fucking we end up getting fucking, who's at the pools? I've been pinched for all this, so it's all good. So at the pools, we end up getting some fucking food and that, frozen fucking the canteen and the cafeteria. At the pools, we popped the windows and that, all the rest of the bullshit. Ran in there, got a feed, and the deal was my mum was on night shift, poor fucking woman. Fuck off, fucking. She, I don't know her I'll tell you. But fucking, I uh, hope she's proud now. But anyways, fucking, uh, we ended up fucking, we ended up getting some fucking these things and that, it doesn't matter, but we ended up getting frozen food. And the plan was to go back to my joint and fucking have a mix. Oh, I had Bud there, we have a mix and we'll cook up this fucking food we got. So I mean, after a fucking kind of a night. This cunt wouldn't even let me get a driver. I didn't even get a driver to hottie. You know what I mean? You're fucking swine, this cunt. But I had another mate that was good. He's a little bit older too, but... So there's three of us. One was a good mate. One was just a big bully cunt. Anyway, fucking... Uh, get back to my joint. We fucking cook up a feed. We have a mix. Like, once again, cooks me for fucking first bong and that. Like, my joint. My mix. Fucking bang. Just makes a mess in your kitchen. Fucking swine. Anyway, crashes out. I says to me, mate, fucking oi... I'm sick of this fucking dog. He's <laughs> laughing and that. And I'm saying, I'm fucking over him, mate. He thinks I'm a fucking little fucking punk. I say, I've got a fucking what's doing down the creek. I'll fucking sort this cunt out. He goes, you have not. I say, I fucking have. I say, I'll go get it. So I get on my pushy, bang. Fucking hammer down there. Bring it back. And I used to, when I put it down there, I used to clean it up. So I grab the towel and clean it up. And then I wrap it in sticky tape. The towel, you know, so I wrap it in towel. 
and cleaning up. <laughs> Fuck that, you know? So I you know, cleaned that foot and I was doing that. Anyways, so I'll fucking get back to my joint, fucking unwrap and he's like, fuck, you do have one. I said, yeah, that's right, I don't fuck around. <laughs> I fucking end up waking this cunt up, pumping in his face. He'll get up, fucking dog. He gets up and that, he's tripping. You know when you see someone and you fucking think, oh, you fucking, no, I, hope you're, I hope you're joking and that. They're like, get real serious and that. And you're like, ha, ha, yeah, no, he could one, mate. One of them ones. He's like, ha, ha, I'm going to pack me a bomb cunt. You know what I mean? I, got him, I had him sitting on the couch for about 15 minutes with this thing in my hands. He's like, can I have a look? Fuck no. I said, yeah, you pack me another one, fuckhead. Fucking hitting fucking sorted. Thought I was tough. And my mate's laughing his ass off and that. Funny times. But anyway, so I ended up going to be pediatrician. My mum had to take me to pediatrician next day. Ended up going down there to my ADD and ADHD and all that shit. It was in Moody Ponds. So, you know, and when we come back to the area, bang, Jack's, Jack's out the wazoo. They fucking hit us up. They knew our ammo. They knew we were about us, little cunts. We're always getting pinched, reckless cunts and that. And they got the boys in the jack shop. So they dragged me down to the jack shop. They want to speak to me. Obviously, my mum's with me. I said, I was, mate, probably not a day over 15. Anyway, fucking, they want to speak to me and that. And I said, oh, what's the matter? They go, oh, don't worry about the stolen car. Don't worry about the shots you hit up last night. All those shops and this car and that. We're not worried about that, guys. They said, where's the fucking gun? I said, what? What are you talking about? They said, this gun, mate. Fucking rah rah told us. Big fucking bully dog had fucking thrown me in the shit. They've questioned him and he's fucking gone, no, don't worry about all that. Gaz has got a gun. I mean, fucking swine. He obviously, because he, he knew I had one up on him with it. Anyway, so. I said, don't worry about the gun. What are you talking about? No prints on no gun. I'm good. What gun? Mum, don't worry. Poor woman. Anyway, so they fucking let us go. And they're fucking, next time I was stomping through the creek. This Because my mate, actually, my mate, and the copper come in to see my mate. My mate told me afterwards, like, there's not much, there's lag and shit, but I wouldn't call it a legal lag, but fuck, he was straight out about it. He goes, Gaz, mate. So the copper went in and started pumping fucking rounds into his revolver and said, you know, your mate Gaz out there with the fucking Roscoe and that. He goes, I'm going to go see him. And when I fucking find him, they didn't know him in the interview room with my mum. He goes, when I'm just playing the tactics, when I find him, he goes, I'm going to fucking put a couple in him. He goes, if you're his fucking mate and you give a fuck about him, you'll tell me where this gun is, save me fucking killing your buddy. And my mate started crying and that. It's only fucking 16 or something. Yeah, when they've been 17 and fucking, he starts crying. Oh, well, all I know it's between this bridge and that bridge down the creek. So they're stomping down a creek in those fucking when they look for bodies or, they, you know, the, the overalls and the boots and the fucking little baseball copper hats and that. With the sticks and all they're doing them ones, looking for this shit. They end up finding it. Anyway, they pull me down there. I go, we found your fucking gun. I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Whatever, it's not my fucking gun. No prints on that gun. Right, all right. Yeah, we'll get back to you. I've got my mum there. My mum's going, Gary. You know, I'm playing with guns. I said, Mum, don't worry. These cops are sitting me up, mate. The dickheads. Blah, blah, blah. Anyways, they can fucking do their forensics on it. They call me back. Fucking hell. Poor mother. I feel so sorry for her. But anyways, they call me back down there, and I'm sitting down there and that. I'm fucking all cocky and that, because I've got my mum with me when I'm young and that. I said, fucking told you my prints aren't on the gun. I said, no, Gary, your prints aren't on the gun. I said, you're correct. My mum's all chuffed and that, you know. It's great. I said, told you my boy was all right. I said, but, Gary, your prints are on the sticky tape. You fucking, what a, you know what I mean? Full rookie fucking mistake. Little bugger, listening to rap, watching fucking movies and that, think I know what I'm doing, you know what I mean? Fucking clean the gun up and that, fucking stook it, forgot to fucking put gloves on when I fucking wrapped the cunt in tape. My prints were all over the tape, pinched. My mum was fucking devoed. Yeah, true story. Got pinched with that. Back then, before Port, that was before Port Arthur Massacre. So it was, it was just an unregistered firearm. You know what I mean? It wasn't fucking like it is now. So yeah, fuck all for it, really. There's another one for you. True story. All right, love you and leave you. Peace out. Can't be good, be good at it. See you, boy.